Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. Uh, we've got a question from a fellow boater. Uh, Gregory asked, Jeff, I've got a Perkins a 50 horsepower diesel. Would a Victron Orion TR, a Tango Romeo, smart, 12 to 12, meaning starting voltage is 12 volt, output voltage is 12 volt, 18 amps, isolated DC to DC charger, work well with a Balmar 100 amp alternator, to charge a 400 amp hour Dakota lithium battery bank. Okay, lots of jargon in here. Uh, let's sort of demystify the jargon, right, for all of us, because once we demystify the jargon, then questions make more sense. So for context, uh, Gregory's telling us that he's got a diesel engine and he's got a 100 amp alternator on board, a Balmar 100 amp. Um, and his challenge is how does he get his 100 amp alternator to recharge his lithium battery bank? So what Gregory doesn't tell us in the question, but we can safely assume, and we got to put some parameters here, right? Uh, the parameters are that most likely his alternator is directly connected to his engine battery. And what Gregory's trying to do is he's trying to share the charging voltage from that Balmar 100 amp alternators running off his Perkins 50 horsepower engine. He's trying to share that charging voltage with his house battery bank, which is made of a 400 amp hour Dakota lithium battery bank. All right. So that's why uh, Gregory's choosing a 12 to 12 DC to DC uh, charging converter, right? Smart. He's going with an isolated model. Again, I, we, most, most of the times we choose isolated. Um, now the rate limiting factor here is 18 amps. You know, I'd have to say Gregory, an 18 amp charger, you know, if your alternator is outputting hundred amps and you've got an engine battery, most of that capacity is not gonna be needed with your engine battery. So your lithium is only gonna draw about 18 amps out of that available 100 whenever there's a charging voltage. So it will work, but it's gonna take you a long time. It'd be like uh, filling out an Olympic pool with a tiny garden hose, right? 18 amps is not a lot of power. That's why you have a 100 amp alternator. Imagine having an 18 amp alternator. Not a lot to brag about, right? There's no, I mean, generators maybe have a 10, 15, 20 amp, 30 amp alternator, it's tiny. So it will work, but it's gonna take you a really, really long time. And it would be aggravating to run that alternator, which is decent size, uh, to only get 18 amps. So I would suggest to consider a 30 amp alternator, a 30 amp a DC to DC converter. And some folks would actually install two of them in parallel so that you can get a net 60 amps of uh, charging. Because remember your 100 amp alternator is never gonna output 100 amps, not when it's hot, that's a cold rated output. So you're generally going to see about, and again, assuming that you have a smart external regulator, which you should, uh, but if you don't, you know, you're looking at, you might get about 80, 85 amps tops out of that alternator once the alternator is hot and less if it's internal regulated because it's just overly cautious. So I would say, you know, if you've got a smart external regulator on that ball bar, then I would suggest to consider the 30 amp model. And, you know, on some boats, we actually install two of them in parallel. I've done three in parallel. So there you go. Good question, Gregory. Um, good on you to think about that because uh, we can't, and this is very important for all of us because otherwise we're going to learn the hard way. It's much easier to learn from others than ourselves, right? Making our own ex <laughs> expensive uh, sort of discoveries or mistakes um, is that when you have an alternator, an alternator is set to only one charge profile, right? So it can charge a GM, it can maybe whatever it is. But if you've got mix and match battery types, one battery type AGM or lead acid, flooded lead acid for your starter, and then a lithium for your house, many of us are gonna basically share that alternator via DC to DC smart charging converters. Just think about the size um, because otherwise it's just gonna take forever for that engine or that alternator to recharge the house battery bank via a DC to DC charging converter. So great question, Gregory, thanks for asking. All of you out there that have solved this problem, share, please. You know what? I mean, that's the whole point of doing this. I learn as much from you as you do from me, by the way. Um, it's amazing. I read every single comment that gets posted, the good and the bad. And you know what? It's, it's worth it because uh, I learn something every time I go on that uh, site and I see what you share. So thanks everyone for doing that. All right, and keep watching. If you're curious, we've written whole articles about this. Go on our website, search it out. Uh, and we've got a lot of other uh, tech talks about this very topic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. 
um, it actually, it really does make a difference. It encourages us to keep posting. So if you're watching this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe, we really do care because the more of you that are watching, the more of us over here are willing to put, spend more time in creating content. So thanks again.